Bollywood action hero Sunny Deol is launching two stars with Pal Pal Dil Ke Paas and we have the whole team to talk about the project. Hello and welcome. Hi, thank you. So, you know, first tell me, what's your takeaway experience from the film starting from Sunny? Um, takeaway experience from the film is basically the bonding and the family which we all, I mean, kind of bonding we had with all the whole crew and everyone. Um, and uh, the difficulties everybody faced together without saying an oof about it. And uh, um, bringing this uh, whole experience there on the celluloid and uh, on the 20th, you all will get to see it. And uh, that's what I would say. Um, I think the experiences and the locations wherever we shot, um, I'll always, you know, such fond memories I have. And uh, it's been such an emotional journey, like Sunny Sir mentioned. It became like a family. And um, yeah, please go watch Palpadil Ke Pass this Friday. Uh, I think the whole experience on a whole, from start to finish, and just the whole camping experience and camping with the unit, I think we became like one family unit together. and. I think these two years there were a lot of fond memories from doing my crazy own stunts to living in a tent to experiencing the Himachal belt like I've never seen before. I think it was all just wonderful and nice. So Karan, tell me, like, was it difficult to have your father, you know, direct your first film because they were, like you were learning on the job? Uh, I wouldn't say it was difficult. I think he guided me in the right directions and I think he got the best performance out of me because he knows me on a personal level so he knew where to pinpoint exactly when I was getting stuck about a certain emotion, how to drive me to that emotion and looking back at it and thinking of it the, and seeing the movie, like he's got the best out of me. <laughs> I think I couldn't have asked for a better director and um, I'm so fortunate that you know um, I start, I got to work with Sunny Sir in my debut film because he really was so patient and um, he, he kept pushing us and you know we gave n number of takes every time but now when we look back there's a certain sense of satisfaction and um, all, I can, all I have to say is he was really kind and very very patient. So how would you describe him as a director? <laughs> oh, hard task oh, hard master. Task master. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you tell me like you don't direct too often. So you know what made you pick like this is the film that you want to direct? I basically could uh, try to hunt around for directors, but somehow I was not successful. So then obviously it was going to be my son. So I and took the onus of uh, onus of uh, taking the son. And looking at your son, you know, how was it? Was it a conflicting emotion? Like how easy or challenging was it to you know direct your son in, like first film? Um, I didn't, I don't, I mean, I, to me, that was not the issue to me, but, but definitely uh, the process when I started going along with it and throughout the process, I had this responsibility of a director who was launching two kids and obviously they have uh, given themselves up to me and so I had to see that I don't uh, some anyway give up on anything, try and get the best out of them, even if I feel I'm not getting it, still keep doing it because... Uh, as a person, because I've seen so much of my, in this field, I've seen so many things and I know you have to be pushed to get the best out of you. You know, Karan and a lot of people say that, you know, taking the next step is more difficult rather than getting a first project, like, despite being a star kid. Do you tell me, like, are you prepared to for the next step, like, everything? I'm actually excited because the industry and cinema out there, it's like, it's like a really a lot of avenues nowadays and there's a lot of work and there's a lot of things you can do. So I'm excited and let's see what comes my way after the 20th of September. <laughs> yeah, uh, like you said, I think I'm equally excited and right now I'm just taking each day as it comes and I'm enjoying the pro promotional phase that we're in and uh, very excited. And Karan, you know, you have grown up with the, the deals and you've seen all the ups and downs. So do you think that prepared you to get into this industry, like face failure or, you know, enjoy the success and still stay grounded? I think it mentally prepared me because I saw lots of ups and downs in my family. So I think it was one mental preparation for the industry. And I'm prepared if it thinks that obviously your career can't be full of hits. There'll be times when my movies will not work. So I think that actually mentally prepares you for those days because take each day as a new. Because one day you can be up there, then there the next day you can be down, but never forget where you came from. That's what I think is most important. And Sunny, sir, I was listening, like you said, the film, like Dharamji saw the film and the film released for you. Tell me, like, you know, are you really emotional that the film is releasing now? And, you know, the, all the hard work, everyone will get to see that? Obviously, you know, it is like uh, you get choked at times because... Yeah. Uh, 
the moment is so near and it's right just around the corner and uh, uh, <clears throat> the the fear factor is also there but like i said you know my dad just saw it yesterday and it ha and he loving it is a kind of a certificate for me <laughs> it kind of makes me feel happy that you know the person whose appreciation i want and you know like and also like you have survived in this industry for almost 40 years now so what's your you know mantra that you want to advise to them oh uh, well uh, they have they have seen it and they worked very hard throughout this and i have been always talking to them about the life ahead and uh, i'm sure they're going to be honest and uh, they're going to work hard which i they are doing and uh, they will and uh, take life the way it is ahead of it and uh, let the challenges be there take it I, i would tell them take it like a sportsman you win a match you lose a match you win a match you lose a match because every match you're going to be learning something and uh, that's the way life should be and karan like you know the most interesting thing is like before you start like you have already shared about you know what you suffered in school the bullying tell me like what made you come and open up about that i think it's important because there are a lot of kids out there who are shy and reserved and because of these certain things in their childhood they may be not express themselves openly what they exactly want to do or they will not feel good enough and they will go reserved into that shell so i want to tell those kids out there like don't be worried you have a special talent inside you that you know about so don't be scared about it regardless of what people tells you you are special from inside and just go for it and also you always say that music has always been a medium yeah, to emote for me to emotionally express myself so it's a venting place for me so i really I think it's become like another love of mine after acting. <laughs> and so if you can rap like for <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No no. <laughs> Haley I know you miss your mom and I know you miss your dad when I'm gone but I'm gonna give you the life that I never had. I can see you sad even when you smile even when you laugh I can see it in your eyes deep inside you wanna cry cuz you're scared I ain't there daddy's with you and your prayers no more nightmares daddy's here no more nightmares sorry. <laughs> Also have some hidden talent like no nothing. <laughs> I just enjoy. She'll slowly, slowly bring it out. <laughs> so you know if you can wrap up like with like if all of you can sing this song, okay. Pulse Will Kill. Right. Rehna tu pal pal dil ke paas, jodi rehe tujse har ek saal. Huh? Is this one line from you as well? Uh <laughs> for my for me a line would be just uh my kids need lots of blessing and uh, judge them after you see the film but do give them lot of love and they deserve that thank you thank, thank you. you so this is sugandha rawal reporting for INS new delhi